Are you really gonna spend two hours waiting in line for Tomorrowland Speedway? No, no, no hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Whoa, 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 You're whoa, gonna whoa, whoa. go on. So many fallacies here. Welcome back to I2I, the place where we talk about anything and everything Disney. My name is Kyle. And my name is Jessica. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, turning on the notification bell, and liking this video if you enjoy it. And if you enjoy the content on our channel, we ask that you support it by joining the Power Line, which is our channel membership program. You can find the links for that in the description, but also up above in the video. It's Disney through our eyes, Jessica, and we get to talk about anything we want to talk about in the wide world of Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, et cetera, 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 et cetera. Okay, that was enough et cetera. It was way too excessive. Got a little bit excited about that, and I apologize for that in advance. Do you want to give me a hint about what you are going to discuss this week on Disney through our eyes? Rides. Rides. So like... Nope, that's all I'm saying. Like fast rides, Don't slow say. rides, etc., 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 etc. I'm actually going to talk about a Pixar movie. Any guess about which one I might choose? Up. Up? Why up? I've ba like barely seen most of Up. That's why it would be a shock to me. Well, I guess there are stranger things that can happen in our show. Exactly. So for my topic this week, I want to talk about Pixar movie. One of the best ones out there, I think. Oh, great. Here we go again. No, 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 no. Hold on. Are you going to just go ahead and tell me what you're thinking? Coco. Oh, well, is it the best Pixar movie of all time? Yes. However, I said one of the best. Okay. And okay. I think you, well, actually, I can't remember if you've seen this one or oh, not. Oh, good, good. Boo. Monsters, Inc.? So you've seen Monsters, Inc. You watched it with me! <laughs> She's a little bit... Just a little bit perturbed that I didn't remember that. I think uh, it's one of the best movies that Pixar has ever done. Yes, um, agreed. I think Monsters University is kind of... It, it's not like it's not loved, but it doesn't have as much pizzazz and favoritism as the original does, which most things do, right? You right. Know, like everyone loves A New Hope and the original trilogy as opposed to the sequel trilogies and the yeah. prequel trilogies for Star Wars. So same concept. But... I think what we've got here is the makings for Monsters, Inc. of what could be a trilogy. Okay. And I've, I think you and I have talked about this previously, just the two of us. I think they need to consider, and now Pixar, let me just go ahead and say up front, Pixar's already said that they're done with sequels for a long time, which Thank I think... goodness. No, I, I, I think the right sequel. Now, they don't just need to keep making cars, and they don't need to keep making... Honestly, they can probably stop for Toy Stories for a while. Yes. Uh, now, I will say, I know this isn't a topic, but just related that I think they eventually, many years down the road, need to do a Toy Story 5 and 6. And I will, we'll do that on another episode. <laughs> She's rolling her eyes at me right now. <laughs> I can't. There's a way to wrap that up really nicely. They and it already can, did. It was called Toy Story 3, and yep. then they ruined it. I know, but what I'm saying is there's a way to fix all of that and make it good again, okay? okay. We'll do that on another time. This is about Monsters Incorporated. Get, okay. get with the program here. Come here! But do you agree? It's one of the best movies out yes, there. Yes, okay? I do. For Pixar, at least. So I think, personally, that they told the story, the original story. They mm -hmm. went back and told a prequel, Monsters University, how Mike and Sully came to be friends and came to be at Monsters, Inc. But they haven't really given us a story after the fact. Now, they okay. are with Monsters at Work. Remember right. the Disney series that's just been... Uh, announced, I think July is when it started. Yeah, I think so. And it's going to be a series. And while Mike and Sully are going to be in it, it seems like it's going to follow some of the other monsters as well. So you're not really getting a continuation of the full story. Now, you're, okay. I'm sure we're going to have stories with Mike and Sully and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be great. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to disparage that series at all. Okay. But I think after this, go, this series has its time, however many seasons or episodes that is, I think they need to consider, especially if the demand gets higher, capitalizing off of that and doing a third not sequel because this would be the sequel to the original but the third movie in that franchise to wrap up the story of monsters inc because where did we leave off at the end of monsters incorporated this is like your quiz remember boo was put back it was very sad kitty you remember all that no oh so 
basically Boo was put back in the in the human world, and they had to leave her there. And he, uh, Sully didn't think he was going to get to see her again. You remember oh, all that? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then they found the door pieces, put it back together. Right. He opens the door, and all you hear is kitty. Yeah. Like that, which is basically a little you. <laughs> That's what I always imagine because. You're all about kitties. You, yeah. you as but actual kitties, not monsters. Now, come on, he's got kitty features. Yeah, of course. He's he's just a very big, can eat you type of kitty. Like <laughs> think, think of a lion. Like okay, okay. Like he roars like a lion too. So, so I think personally, they should think about going back and telling what happened with Boo after she's grown up. Okay. Because that's what. Remember, why do you love Toy Story three so much? Because it ends. Well, yes, it's but packaged like packaged well. But like, what is it? But like, that's right. It talks about Andy after he's grown up. Exactly. So and the toys, how they moved on. Exactly. So how does Sully, who's probably not getting to see Boo as much anymore, you know, because we obviously at the end of that movie it established, hey, they obviously get to see each other again. But right. as time goes on, as she grows up, that probably grows apart again. So what happens when Sully goes back to see her and she doesn't remember him or something like that? Or she has kids now, but also... That's real far in the future. Exactly. Okay, okay. But that's how you wrap up something nicely with a bow. Toy like Story Christopher 3? Robin. Sure, I was thinking still more Toy Story 3, but that's a fair comparison. Christopher Robin is much more... That, I, you know, that, Christopher I, Robin actually did have kids. <laughs> that's true. But that's, I mean, that's not a bad comparison overall. But I just think that personally you could like tell a story where they switched over to laughter remember mm-hmm. powering everything which is right, why they right. now have monsters now the laugh monsters war at work yeah and monsters laugh war and all that kind of stuff to kind of tell that part of the story but what happens when that power source doesn't become enough anymore like maybe the it starts going away what what were you laughing at i don't know i thought i'm not about, i'm not a monsters inc electrician i've thought about this so what happens Literally. when the power for that is not enough to sustain the monster because world? we're all depressed and because of the pandemic there's not enough laughter in the beautiful world. this is a brilliant <laughs> workshop we're having right now look you're an imagineer and you didn't even know it oh, because of the, how bad nightmare. the world has gotten <laughs> laughter and because we you know we're stuck in our screens all the time as opposed to learning to laugh at the simple Ouch. things I'm just, I, what, what are, wow. I'm just saying, I mean, that's the hashtag re- truth. It's just the truth bombs we're dropping here right now. Yeah. But what if you tell that story where laughter's not enough anymore and they can't go back to screams because they don't want to do that? You know, maybe there's. Because everybody's already in a nightmare. Right, exactly. Look at you just bringing it full circle all the way around. I love this. I do what I do. But that's what you do. And, you all, and also the story of Sully trying to deal with this girl that, you know, I kind of saw as a surrogate daughter in a sense doesn't need me anymore and my world is collapsing around it so what happens do the monsters just disappear Mm -hmm. do the do they somehow find a way to live in our world Mm. i'm i think it's got potential personally well i'm not mad at it so it's not so bad is it no none of your ideas are ever bad they're just probably not gonna come to fruition well that's i don't know if that's a compliment or (laughs) or something i mean do you think they should make a third one no why but why? Because they're doing the TV show. I don't think we need a third movie if now they've got a TV show. Well, I and I hear you on that, but I just think that that's not going to tell the Monsters, Inc. story. It's just about their world as opposed to Mike and Sully and Boo and that core group. Really just Mike and Boo, or not Mike, but Boo and Sully. Because that's the heart of the whole movie. Right, right. Is this big scary monster being this lovable kitty right. for this little bitty girl who's now going to be a big girl. Gonna have her own little girls and boys. Oh my god! I'm just How telling you. We get here. I'm telling you. I've thought long and hard Clearly, about this. You have. And it would work. I really think it would work. I'm not mad at it. So my topic has to do with which rides in Disney World, specifically Magic Kingdom, are not worth the wait. For you personally. Um, This is a false question because they are all worth the wait. Okay, Dwight Schrute. There are certain rides that we always skip because the line is significantly longer than the level of excitement that we get from the ride. Name one! When was the last time we did Tomorrowland Speedway? (laughs) Touche. But like... I'm just saying. No, no, no. The point is, there are certain rides in Disney World... Magic Kingdom specifically today, that their line is not proportional to how much fun you have on the ride. 
in my opinion. This is an opinion-based topic. This is my opinion, and not your opinion, yours. And your opinion is wrong well, because they're all that, worth it. That can be. But if you only have 12 hours in the park, are you really going to spend two hours waiting in line for Tomorrowland Speedway? No. 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 Hold on. Hold on. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on hold You're going to go on. So many fallacies here. You never, ever have to wait two hours for Tomorrowland Speedway. Would you have to wait an hour? Yes, because that thing moves super slow. Have we waited an hour? We no. have we have waited forty five minutes before, and that was not worth it. Actually, the and the light said forty five minutes. So this is we, still my topic. So I'm going to continue on with my, my time. topic. <laughs> my time, Kyle. My topic is what rides are specifically not worth the wait for you. I've got three that are not worth the wait. But you but you're going to be crapping all like all the classics of Tomorrowland Speedway and stuff like that. My opinion, my topic. All right, fine. Give me, you give me one and I'll see if I can come up with something because this feels like so well, sacrilegious. You've, you've ruined my number one. My number one is Tomorrowland Speedway. Okay, so why is it not worth it to you? The queue line does not move. You're sitting breathing in gasoline fumes the That's entire fair. time. That's fair. It is blazing hot, even in December in that line. It just... It, the whole is loud. You can't converse with your party that's there waiting with you. And then by the time you get in the car, the cars are not fun. I just don't like that ride anyway. I would wait 10 minutes and that's max for Tomorrowland Speedway. The gasoline thing you have me on. Uh, they've long, well, I shouldn't say rumors because there's never been like substantial rumors, but like people have always said they need to go to electric, which would match up with Tomorrowland yes, anyway. exactly. Which is why there's been like the fan rumors that they were going to turn Tomorrowland Speedway into Sugar Rush. Remember from oh, Wreck-It yeah, Ralph? From Wreck -It Ralph. Maybe enclose it. Yeah. And then it'll match with the theme now of Tron right there right, too. You know, right. like it's like the mini mini Tron, except it's candy crush thing. Yep. Like I think personally that's how you fit you make everything electric in there. That's so simply from not having to breathe in gasoline, yes, you have a point there. But I would I would do it if I wasn't concerned you were gonna get frustrated and wanna leave. <laughs> yeah, because that key line's trash. But anyway, okay, next one. Do you want me to give some, or are we going to do all yours first? Go for it, if you've got one. I'll, so... Because you already said, they're all worth it, la 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 la! I'm going to try... Is that me or something? Yes, exactly I'm right. going to try my best to come up with something here. I probably wouldn't wait in a long line. And what do we define as a long line? Like so Whatever an, you define. So an hour, I'm going to say. Okay. That's, that's probably... If you can get in something under an hour, it's worth getting in line for. The carousel. Because yeah. you can do anything... You know, now, you can do carousel anywhere. Now, to be fair, we don't have children. Yes. So I feel like our our opinions on that might change when we have little ones. Right. But at this point in our lives, yeah, carousel is a no. I, I just I think there's something unique about doing it with the backdrop of the castle and at night and stuff like that. And if there's no line, of course I'm gonna hop on it. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna hop on it. Like you know, <laughs> I thought there was a better pun there, but no. it didn't work out. Okay. There are no uh, bunnies on a carousel. I bet there's one on there somewhere. No. There's got to be one on there. No. Prince Charming's regal carousel. Okay, what's your no. next one? Oh, that was the end. Okay. Um, don't hate me. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Just, just. Yes. Hall of Presidents. Not worth it. I'm sorry. The story changes minimally every four years. Do you want to sleep on the couch? It has nothing to do that I don't like our current president. I don't like our past presidents. It has nothing to do with politics in general. I just don't want to deal with presidents while I'm in Disney World. But so nor do I want to sit through a 22 minute long show when there are rides that I could be riding. You need breaks from walking around and from yeah, but eating. Kyle, the the line first of all. It's hot. You need a break. First of all, when you get in and they've just started the preview show and you're just sitting in that room waiting, you're like, bro, this is so boring, and you're just waiting and waiting, and you can't drink, and you can't eat snacks there, and then there's no queue line to actually get into the theater, and so it's just mass chaos getting in. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Listen, you need to appreciate our history. It's not that I don't appreciate it. I did not say that. That's what it feels That's like. That's not what I said at all. That is what it I feels like. I said when like. I'm at Disney World, I don't need to learn about presidents. But that's what Disney World is about. It's about edutainment. Okay, what edutainment do you get from Space Mountain? You learn that things jostle around a lot worse mm -hmm. than you thought exactly. they Exactly. <laughs> Disney is you not learn, edutainment. You learn edutainment, you should keep your hands down. No, edutainment is for museums. It's for, like... Art museum specifically, 
science no, no museums. you don't get entertained at a museum you yes learn, you do no, you don't interactive science museums yes you it's get not entertaining no why do you always debate me on everything because we're married and that's what we do <laughs> hall presidents is my number two and it's not worth it it is so worth it. It doesn't matter who the president is. Now, I will say there have been better iterations of it, like when Obama was the feature one and Morgan Freeman was the narrator. That. Yeah, that, I did. That, like, that was I like Morgan notch. Freeman. Don't get me wrong. I've liked all our presidents. Don't get me wrong. This has nothing to do with our presidents. I just don't like that. You hurt me so much right here that I don't know if I can recover. All right, are we just sticking to Magic Kingdom then, I guess? Yes. Is that kind of the thing? Um, I specifically said the... I'm sorry, because, you know, my mind just starts wandering here. What's not worth a, a wait of longer than an hour? Now, you came up with that. Well, that's because I need some parameters to operate from. I said, what's not worth a wait? I wouldn't wait longer than an hour for... Uh, maybe the train? around the, the Magic Kingdom. Oh, I wouldn't wait longer than 20 minutes. I, I think there is something very special about riding on the well, train. Well, that's the case, why have we only done it one time? Because you have, I'm gonna be very, very delicate with this because I don't want to sleep on the couch tonight. You have Sorry. very low patience. <laughs> yeah, for stupid stuff. Walt Disney's big thing was trains, right? Yes. And so there's something about sitting on a train in Walt's it's not, I know Magic Kingdom is not Walt's Park, but it's what he would have, you know, if he had survived to see it to its completion, it would have been probably his crown jewel. Right. If there's something about sending that around what would have been his park and his like, his legacy, so to speak. Okay. That kind of connects you with him for me. Personally. Are you going to start crying? No, I'm not going to cry. Your ears are, your This ears, is not baseball. Your eyes are we don't cry in baseball. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Look what's at your, your face. It's what, a little bit red. What's your third one? The Astro Orbiter. Really? I love Astro Orbiter. When wow. I get on it, I really love it. But kind of similar situation to Tomorrowland Super yeah. Speedway, whatever. The line doesn't move. I am a huge fan of constantly moving lines. You know, like Haunted Mansion, it's not my favorite ride, right. but the line for the ride consistently moves. Right. Don't mind it. Winnie the Pooh, again, not my favorite, but it consistently moves. Peter Pan, all of those, you know, what's that... Consistently loading uh, Omni Movers, the, the the ride system yeah. Yeah. that helps keep things going some yes. so, to some I'm, degree. I'm a huge fan of that. The Astro Orbiter, I love it. Yeah, it is bad. so fun when you get up there and you can see the whole park, especially at night, because you know Kyle likes everything better at night. Now you know that ride at night is awesome. It is awesome, but it's just the wait is terrible, and then you have to get yeah. in that stupid, creepy elevator, and you just think this is going to be like Tower of Terror, and we're but just going to die. you love Tower of Terror. I do because that's intentionally going to do that. Not Astro Orbiter that we're just going to plummet to our death. So you wouldn't enjoy just randomly falling down an elevator shaft? No. Not, not your idea no, of the fun, actually? No, not, not at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I just, I don't think it's worth the wait. If it's a short line, cool. Less than 20 minutes, every time I will do it. Anything more than 20 minutes, nah. So really what it sounds like is you have, if we just fixed a couple of things for some of these attractions, it would be much better for you. Like 10, the line situation for Astro Orbiter. Maybe if they put like extra elevators, like two more sets. But you can't, but the whole reason they do that is because right. I understand it's not safe. You can't be up there and just be standing around. Right. The, there's no way to fix that. So, well, there is. So maybe if they expanded the platform up there and made like a long, a queue part up there as well, that's kind of. So then you could actually see what's going on, so you're not just looking at concrete. Well, yeah, that too, but like I think if you make it like it's inside and interactive, that way you're not blazing in the sun up at the top of this platform in the daytime, but also at night, it kind of creates that mystique. Oh, I'm about to launch. I'm about to go out to a launch pad here. I mean, that would be cool. I think that would really work personally. And then for the for the cars, it's just the gasoline, really. That's <laughs> that's the big problem. For and you. yeah, I just. Mm. Because there are rides, there are rides that I will wait. Yeah. There are rides I'll wait over an hour for. I mean, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, obviously Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, even though I hate it, but Kyle loves it. Big Thunder Mountain, you know, even Pirates, I will wait over an hour for. Pirates is worth it. But there's some I'm not going to wait for. So you got a list of three. I have so a list of three. I, so I, I need one more that... Because this is also a series within a series. Oh my goodness. Um, so next week I'll pick a different park. Oh, okay. So now we know what it'll foreshadowing what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, hmm, that's tough. Mm, because, I've got another one. Okay, I'll see if I agree with you or not. 
Barnstormer. No, I'd listen, wait for listen, Barnstormer. Listen, 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 Linda. The only reason I wouldn't is because it is such a short ride. It is. I'm not going to wait an hour for it. That's fair. That's it's fair. super fun. I love Barnstormer. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to wait an hour. That's fair. I I hate saying that about it. Uh, I was going to... The only other one that like was popping into my head was Enchanted Tales with Belle. Because we haven't done that since we got the preview yeah. for it back in the day. Because it's really meant for kids. But that, I mean, it's a really cool attraction with the special effects they do and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'd probably wait an hour in Barnstorm before I, I waited an hour in Enchanted Tales with Belle. So that's probably going to be... Okay. I mean, idea. there's lots of honorable mentions, too. I'm not going to wait who an else, hour... Who else are you going to disparage? I'm not going to wait an hour for Tiki Room. That's... That's... I, I'm speechless. You would wait an hour for some dang animatronic birds? Yes, because it's Walt Disney's attraction. I would. I'd definitely do that. Magic, I mean, y'all Magic Carpets start, of Aladdin. I would not wait an hour. That's, that's one we can agree on. But I'd wait an hour for Dumbo. Which is basically the same ride. But it's not. But it's not. Right. It's much better. So, I don't know. Well, here we are just crapping all over these. Uh, no, these. all I'm saying is there are everybody has rides that they do not feel is worth it to wait an hour for. Those are our topics for this week on Disney Through Our Eyes. We want to know a couple things from you now based on what we talked about. For me, I want to hear from you on my topic about Monsters Incorporated having a third movie. Obviously, we're going to watch The Men, the Mon the men at Work. Well, that's a, it's a band. Monsters at Work, uh, the new series coming up, and that's going to be a great story as well. But I, what do you think about a Monsters Incorporated 3 telling the final story for that franchise? Let me know about that. And obviously, my question is, what rides in Magic Kingdom are not worth the wait for you? Don't make me mad, people. Don't make me mad. Jessica's already done it here today. Don't make I me mad. I didn't upset. say Space Mountain. I said that's worth the wait. You wanted to put that on there, didn't you? I did say that was worth the wait. So let us know that in the comments section below. We want to hear from you. What else should they do? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, turning on the notification bell, and liking this video. And if you want to watch more in this series, we'll have a playlist available for you in the description, but also up above if you want to check those out. And don't forget, this is also available in podcast form as well. Until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.